Hi everybody, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm here tonight to bring you a quick card for tonight. No fancy folds or anything like that. It's just a really quick card. I It's using scrappy strips. If you don't know what that is, it's tiny pieces of, or tiny strips of cardstock or your DSP um, paper in that to help design your card. So we are going to be doing that in a few minutes. But before we do that, I would like to tell you that um, our kit collection went on sale today. It's for the whole month of August and you get up to 30% off on kits. I'm not sure what the price itself is. You know, on each kit, I think it varies, but all the kits are on sale and it's a great way to get started, especially if you think you'd like to stamp and you're not real sure buy you a kit, try to make you some cards and see how you like it. Um, another thing is if you got any bonus day coupons from um, July, if you ordered in July and in the United States for every $50 you ordered, you got a $5 coupon emailed to you and with a code and um, you can use those codes in August. In August only, if you do not use them, you lose them. So. The thing of it is, either use them. If you don't think you're going to use them and you have friends that stamp and stuff, you know, maybe give it to them so that they could use it. But just so that um, they can be used. Because you just put the code numbers in is what you do when you're ordering. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Well, we have a month and the new mini catalog will be out, which is going to be your holiday stuff. It's going to have Christmas, winter, fall, Halloween, um, some everyday stuff. It's just got all it's got all kinds of stuff, and um, I think you'll be real pleased with it. It's got some beautiful DSP papers. It's got some new dies, um, even standalone dies that you don't have to buy a stamp set for. So we have all that stuff in there, and I think you'll be really happy. So. Um, Make sure if you don't have a demonstrator, let me know and I'll make sure I get one of those catalogs to you when I get mine in. And um, if you don't have a demonstrator also and you'd like to place an order, I would love to be that demonstrator for you to help you with that order. And just let me know about that. Or if you thought about joining Stampin' Up! and you haven't yet, I would love to have you on my team because I really need to build my team up. I need to, to get some more people on there and I'm looking forward to doing that. So if you know anybody that would like to join Stampin' Up! or if you would like to do it and try it, you don't sign a contract, so you're not tied into anything. You get a discount by signing up. It's $99 for $125 worth of product, so um, which is good, and you don't pay shipping on that product the first time. And then after that order, then you can use your discount. You'll get 20% off of your order until you make it to like, it's called Bronze Elite, and then you get 25%. So, um, you know, you could order your, uh, uh, you can order $125 worth, pay your $99 plus your sales tax, you don't pay shipping. And if your state doesn't have sales tax, I think you just pay $99. And um, that way you can get your stuff and then you can place an order for stuff that you've been wanting maybe that you haven't bought and so you can use that 20 percent off to do that and see how you like being with stampin up okay enough of all that stuff right there i'm looking to make sure i got my directions okay i do not that i need them to do the card i need them to show you um all of my directions uh, for my cards i do pdfs are over on my facebook group called Stamp Crazy VIP. You're more than welcome to go join over there. Pull off any of the PDFs you want. I've made PDFs ever since I've been doing my videos since March of 2020. It's been almost three and a half years. So we're going on three and a half years that I've been doing this and all of those um, PDFs are over there. The first ones do not have pictures with them but you know, I've been putting pictures with them for a long, long time. And that is over there, and um, we'll get started on our card. It's a very simple card. I hope you like it. It's fun to do, and it is super simple. That's the best thing, right? We all like super simple. Okay, 
I'm going to turn my phone down. So what I ask you while I'm doing that is to, I need to, well, before I do that, I need to get you focused here on my computer so I know where I'm at. Okay, there I am. Okay, um, well, I've turned my phone down. If you get dizzy and stuff, just close your eyes till we're done. I'll let you know when that's done. Um, I'd also like for, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do try to bring a video every week. Um, I'm not consistent on that, which I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, but hopefully soon. I keep saying that, and that soon never comes, but eventually it will. And, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you really like it and stuff. I really, really appreciate that. So here I go. I'm going to turn you up. You're going to look at my ceiling before you get to see my table. Mm -hmm. Just the way it goes. Oh, goodness. And my camera does not want to go up today. It went up this morning. Don't know what's wrong with it. So I don't want to make you dizzy, but I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Put my phone cord back where you won't see it. Get all of this done. Move my computer back so that's not in my way. And here is our directions. So, it's called a scrap, a diagonal um, scrappy strip card. Here's the picture of the card. Here's your supplies. And here are your directions. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of directions to do this card. Even though it doesn't, I still make a PDF for you. So again, you can go find that at my Facebook group, Stamp Crazy VIP. Here is my online store address, ritaholmes.stampinup.net. My August host code is right here in the red. If you would like to order, um, please use that host code. Unless you have an order over $150, then don't use it so you can get some free rewards when you order. All right, here we go. We're going to start our card. Here are our st scrappy strips. And what this is, I have found out a lot of people have missed this die set in the catalog. It is a standalone die set called Paper Florist Dies. And here it is. And um, the nice thing about this is this flower here. You only have to cut, cut through once. You get all four petals right here to stack, which is great. Then we have our stamp, I mean our leaf that I did in Pretty Peacock. We have this little leaf with the calyx, but I did that in like a crumb cake. I wanted a different color, and that was these. Now I'm gonna do one extra thing in here, and I am going to cut these out, and these are little flowers that go on the edge of that, and we're gonna put those on here tonight, okay? So, I think we are ready to get started. So, let me get out my um, craft mat. Had a piece of paper on there. So, here's all we use on our card. We have our card base, and I use thick basic white. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter and folded. Then I have a piece of five and a quarter by four, which is what we're gonna make our card on. And then it will go on um, our card. So we're actually doing a white on white card, which I really like those. So let's sit this up here for a minute. I'm gonna bring in, well, let me show you the stamp set. We're only stamping the sentiment and I'm using layering leaves and I'm doing the sending, sending hugs. But it's got a lot of great sentiments. Thinking of you, for you, best wishes. So happy to celebrate you. Thank you so much and hello. And then these leaves actually go with the bow punch, but that's out of stock right now. I think it's coming in, I'm thinking it's first of October, but I'm not real, real sure about that. But anyway, the sentiments are so great to use anyway, even without having to use that bow punch. So let me get my scraps out here. You saw the dies that we're gonna use. So what I did to get my color combination, which I really like, um, I use a thing called the Color Coach. And it's Stampin' Up! makes this, and it's with all of their colors. I keep it on a ring, a big ring at that. 
and I print it off in cardstock. They have a PDF for it. And what I did, it's an alphabetical order, so I go back here to Pretty Peacock. It's back here somewhere. It's in the P's. I do know my ABCs. There we go. So what I did is I pulled this out because I didn't really, went for sure what I, I knew I wanted to use Pretty Peacock. I knew that from the get-go. So what I did was I pulled this out. There's Pretty Peacock. So I added the pecan pie, crumb cake, calypso coral, pretty pink, I mean petal pink, and gray granite. I used those. I didn't use the melon bombo because I didn't really want to use it with the um, calypso coral. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six colors that I used. That's what my strips are. They are a quarter inch by seven and three quarters because I like them a little long in case I um, put that on to where I need a little bit of length. And I use these rings that open up like this. And my desk has a shelves on the side of it and they're metal. So I have a metal bar at the top and I just take and snap that back together on this bar and I always have it right here at my desk and I like that. So that's what I use. Okay, so let's put my card base. We'll stick it over here out of the way. I got these on the wrong side of me. So what, all I need is one of each color. So I'm gonna take Pretty Peacock, Calypso Coral, um, Petal Pink. I don't know why I want to keep forgetting the name of that. Um, got two of those there. Pecan Pie, Crumb Cake, and then um, Gray Granite. I think I might have said a different color. It's Gray Granite that I used. I hope I said that right when I was talking about it. Then I'm gonna use this little piece, and I thought I had a little piece that is, um, it is not. I'm okay with that. I can use one of these, but I'm gonna look through this and see. Look through my mess, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that little piece here in a minute. So I'll lay this to the side and use that. We'll put the rest of these away. We don't need them. I just went ahead and cut some strips last night when I was cutting. Let's bring in our five and a quarter by four piece of cardstock. And I use the thick, the thick white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm using the um, Tombow multi-purpose glue to do my card. So my first strip, I'm gonna lay that on the pad and I'm gonna put some glue across my strip. Let's see if that's long enough. I think it is, because I want that to be down on my card. And I tell you what I wanna do before I go any further. Before I get any further, I'm gonna take my sending hugs and I want to stamp that at the bottom and let me tell you I did this I just had a stamping event and you know you can see the stamp you can see the words are clear because it's photopolymer you do not have to push your stamp into your stamp pad with these I'm going to just lay it down and you'll see that ink take hold of the stamp and then when I lift it up, I have no ink around my edges. It is only on my stamp. So I just lay it down. Don't put any pressure on it. And it will ink. I'm going to bring that in. And I'm going to stamp at the lower right-hand corner of my card. So I'm going to use all four sides. Press down evenly. If I want the center to make sure I just put my finger over on it and then I lift up and I have a nice crisp image. 
And the reason why I'm doing that and telling you that now, after all this time, is when I had my, um, I had a stamping event Friday night, and I um, had a couple ladies ask me. They were really pushing into the stamp pad with the photopolymer stamps, and I'm like, you know, you really don't have to do that. You get ink all over, and then um, you might make a mess on your card. So you can actually see your ink go onto your your words just as you lay that down, and that's nice to watch it that way. We are done with this stamp pad. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. But I want to go ahead and bring that info to you guys. Now, from now on, as I do this card, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put glue right here. And I hope you can see that. I'm gonna move my camera in just a little bit. And um, so I'm not down so far. And I'm gonna go across that edge. And I'm actually going to do it twice because with Tombow, it's going to stay tacky. So I might be able to get both strips on with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other strip. And I'm just going to lay that down right next to the first strip. And when I do that, I'm going to make sure that it's just bedded up against the edges and not laying over on top of each other. We'll bring this one in and we'll do the same thing. Just bring that in, press it down so you get it on the glue. Okay, and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put a glue line here. Put one right here. And as you can see, I'm not putting a ton of glue because we don't want it squirting out. That'd be a no-no. So we'll put our um, pecan pie. Had to think about what color I was using. I haven't really used this color much since, you know, it's, it's, it's a new color. So I haven't used it a lot. Then we are going to use our crumb cake. And I hope I didn't put that out too far, that glue. Oops, there we go. So we've got all that put together. And now we're going to do this one. Whoops. I'm go sliding it all over. So we're just going to lay that down. Put this against there, against here. Make sure all that feels okay. I'm gonna get big scissors out and I'll turn this over and just cut that off. So we'll just turn that. And cut that off. Might be able to use that on my, and I might be able to use this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here in a minute with a couple of these leftover strips. I'll let that one out. See if I can use it. Okay, I'm going to throw that away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my card base in and I'm going to use these two colors. Let me see if I can use that one. I think it's going to be a little bit too short. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put just some glue down here on my card. And that's going to be for my Calypso Coral. And lay that down. I'll add a little bit more. I always like to bring the inside of my card, the outside of my card to the inside a little bit. So that's what I did with this. And now I'm going to put this down. I'll turn that over. We're going to go 
ahead and clip those. And there we go, we have that. So that's gonna be the inside of my card. Here's gonna be the outside. So we have it stamped, we have our strips on. We can go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna lay that over to the side for a minute. I'm going to give this a another brisk fold so it stays flat while I'm gluing this down. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to add my tumbler glue to the outside edges. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Not like a lot of glue on it. But I want enough to make it stick. So let's go ahead and add this to our card front. And that almost looks pretty by itself, doesn't it? And you can use any kind of stamp you want to do this. Um, you could use a stamp and, you know, regular, uh, you know, stamp your flower or whatever you want to put on and then die cut it, whatever you want to do. I am using the paper florist dies because I really, really like them. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how easy these are to cut. Let me get all my little stuff out of the way. Keep a tidy desk, right? Or try to keep a tidy desk. Doesn't always work. So let's bring in the mini Stampin' Emboss machine. And what I'm gonna do is bring in my papers. Let's put our platforms on here. We're using platform one, platform two. I back this up just a little bit. It's not flush. It helps it go through. I'm going to lay my Calypso Coral up here. Then I'm hoping my leaf fits on this. For some reason it looks funny. Yeah, it'll fit. I'm going to lay that there with this here, I think. Let's get that up there just a little bit more so I can have it on there. And then this little piece will go right here. So let's put our dies. This one's gonna go on this piece. This one will go over here on this piece. These little flowers, whoops, I dropped them goes on the petal pink and then the big flowers goes on the calypso coral and there we have all of our dies so let's just put this on i'm going to slide that back just a hair it'll be okay so that that can go in and start well, maybe. There we go. Just got to hold this down. And all I got to do is really run this through one time. Okay, we got it through. Let's go ahead and put this up. I'm going to show you how easy these come out of the dies. Let me take my lid, my lid, my top, die, my top platform off. And look at this. You just have to... I'll put these up as we're going. And then that way, we know where they are. That's why I like to use the magnet pieces because then I don't lose them. Okay, you know what? This little die did not cut right. All right, I hope you'll look okay. He might. You know, all flowers aren't, aren't the same shape just like we're not. We'll see what it looks like when I go to put it together. It must have shifted a little bit. So there's how easy everything comes out of that die when you when you do it. So let's put all of these um, platforms over there. Whoops. Splash out my dies here. I have another set already cut because we gotta use two of each one. I went ahead and cut the other one so you didn't have to watch me do, do it all twice. 
Okay, what we're gonna do, these are, these are what we're using. So there's two of those, two of those. And I tell you what, if that one flower doesn't work that I cut out, we'll just um, ad-lib it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take my Stampin' Pierce mat and I'm gonna lay my four flowers on top of this like so. I'm gonna take my stylus, you can take it from your pick tool, the scoring pad, whatever, just so it has a ball end on it. You're just going to, see how that raises that flower up when I do that? You're just gonna do that. Now I do tend to roll it just a little bit because that helps it stay up. When you mail it, it will go down, but it'll kind of pop back up It'll still show the dimension. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna move that for a minute because what I'm gonna do, I'll keep this up here to where you can see them, is I'm going to, do that. I'm gonna put a dot of glue into, three of them. So when I bring this one in, it'll sit right there and I'm going to put it back up here. I just didn't want to get that glue all over my mat. I'm going to stick that right there on the mat and get those kind of offset a little bit. I'm going to offset this one then I'm going to offset this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tool and I'm just going to press on that again. And that will shape my flower. Can you see how that shaped it? How it has that rounded edge there. So that's what we're going to do with that. Now I'm going to put that up. I'll bring back in my mat here and my card and I'm going to take these two leaves and I'm just going to put enough glue up here by the first set of leaves and down the stem a little bit. That's about all I need on it. I'm going to bring that down close to my sentiment. That's why I wanted the sentiment on there. I can bring that down and not worry about it being in the way if I would have stamped it last. I'm going to put some more glue on this leaf. Don't need much. And I'm going to put that right here. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to bring these flowers in. And what I'm going to do, there's a bigger flower and two smaller flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this one that did not um, it did not um, cut all the way. I'm gonna see how it looks on here. And if it doesn't look like what, you know, that I feel like I can get by with it, we're gonna cut it off. Cause you know, my motto is there's no mistakes in stamping. It's always an embellishment opportunity. So we're gonna go with that today. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to just hold that down, pick up that flower, pick up this flower, and pick up this flower. And that one really doesn't look that bad. It just looks like it's a little smaller flower. So I'm gonna leave it on there. I don't have a problem with that. I'm gonna bring the other set in and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I find that just laying them out um, kind of um, It's easy, it's easy to put your glue back here and hold on to this. And stick your flowers on here. 
And I just line up the rounded part back here with the rounded part of the little flower petal and pick them up as I put the glue down. I put my finger on it. And whoops, got that one a little crooked. No worries. There we go. And then I'll pick this one up. I have my little flower. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put these on next. So I'm going to put glue just up this stem. It's got a wide enough piece. I can glue that. I'm going to glue that like right there. I'm going to glue this one down at the bottom. I might see about tucking this one in. I'm going to have to stick the end of it around. There we go. We'll stick that one in just for something different. I'm going to put glue right here where I rounded this. I'm going to take and put some glue right there. And when I put this on, I again am going to take my stylus and really poke that down so I know that that's touching my card base. So, we'll just leave that there for a second. And it should be fine. There we go. All we have to do now is do a little bit of embellishing with some gems. And I'm using the iridescent pearls. If you can't see them, here they are. Let me put this over here. Maybe you'll see them better. I'm going to use these, and I'm going to put a big one in the center of my flower. There we go. And then I'm going to take three small ones and I'm just going to put those around my card. Like so. And then that is our card. That is our card, all in a nutshell. So, how is that? Do you like that? I hope so. It's a fun card, it's easy. This is a great way to use up some of your strips of your card stocks or your DSPs. You can do it with either one. It really makes a beautiful card. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, like I said, if you need the PDF to it, it's going to be over on my Facebook group called Stamp Crazy VIP. Just come over and join the group. Go to the files or scroll down in the video in the sections, the posting sections, and you'll be able to find it. Also, there's my host code, my stamping store, and all of that, and I hope to see you again soon. You all have a great day. Bye!